In this video, I'm making a tower. Welcome to Casting Scenics. Okay, I am at my hot wire foam cutting table, setting up my guide fence at 5 8 inch. making a few passes creating some strips and now I have set up my fence at quarter inch And now that I've got quite a few strips, at 5 eighths by 1 quarter, I'm going to rip these, use a backer strip here of XPF foam. To keep everything fairly square, this is another cut at 1 quarter inch. I do this more times than I care to count until I have quite a few bricks. Okay, I am wrapping everything in a piece of cloth and just tumbling that together to break everything apart. The XPF foam tends to stick together after you cut it on a hot wire table and I'm going the tried and true method of tumbling everything around with a bunch of rocks in a container to get my final texture pattern on those bricks this is blank she's she's not having it not interested in anything I've got going on that's okay. Okay, here I have a drink tumbler covered in construction paper. I'm just taking some tacky glue and starting to put some of these bricks into place. This took forever, a ridiculous amount of time, but I think with the end result it was worth it. I spread some of that tacky glue out with a cheap acid brush. You can see there to the left I've got some MDF windows and door frames that I'm going to end up putting in place here right now. Again, more bricks, more windows. Overall, I think I spent three hours stacking bricks. So this is certainly a project that is worth the effort of mold making. Especially when you consider that you can make quite a few towers or have quite a few towers on the game board for various reasons that 
look reasonable. Having four or five guard towers or watchtowers on a tabletop doesn't seem excessive. Here's Beatty. She's a little more frisky than Blink was. She's still only willing to deal with so much. Okay. I am eh, two-thirds of the way finished with this tower at this point. Still putting bricks in place. Okay. Towards the top of the tower, I picked a random pattern to go with before I got to this point I really didn't have a set idea I got here and said hey what's what's the best way to go about this and then I just started laying bricks down after a layer of tacky glue this is what I came up with is it the best I'm not sure but it's it's what I chose at that point. So it's what I've got. I didn't try to do anything too crazy. Something that seemed fairly reasonable. Okay, I've got a little MDF hatch here that I've put into place. And I'm going around this top level with a layer of brickwork. act as the top of my guard tower there's Carl he appreciates the cover I ended up going with three levels of bricks even though I've only got two here okay and as for the mortar I filled those cracks in with plaster of Paris. Very thinned out. Very little plaster to water ratio. After I mixed everything up, it ended up looking like uh, possibly a melted milkshake. It was very thin. Now, something I discovered during this process was that it's pretty important to spray on a layer of water before going with the plaster. It helps the plaster leach into smaller crevices and cracks. You don't want to work in too big of an area. The plaster does tend to dry quickly, even though it is thin. And before it does dry, you want to take a cloth, some sort of dish towel or something like that. Something you don't mind uh, throwing away later, potentially, or just using for crafts to clean up the surface of this brickwork to get rid of the excess plaster. Okay, now for the hatch and the door, I am making a hatch and a door. Yeah. This is 16th inch balsa wood. I'm just cutting into strips and kind of distressing with a wire brush. I 
hatch and door. Yeah, I've talked about that. Okay, now I am just getting a rough measurement here. Using the hobby knife to score this piece of balsa wood so that I can cut these strips down to size. The sharper your knife, the less hassle you have to deal with, so something to keep in mind. Just tacking this down with some tacky glue. Nothing too fancy. No hinges, no latch. And for the lower door, I've gone with some bracing. Okay. Here I have the tower, a piece of cardstock, some ballast, hot glue gun. I'm just running a bead along this bottom edge here. I'm going to glue this down to the piece of cardstock. This is going to act as my base. Make sure everything's secure. Pour some of those ballasts out on the bench there and I'm going to run a bead of tacky glue around the entire base of the tower fairly generous bead I'm, I'm using that to keep the ballast in place so you don't want to skimp there's blank quick shot she got the hell out of there. Okay, my hand's in the way for the most part, but I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. Just kind of bulking out this base area here. I could have used XBF foam, but I, I just so happen to have this stuff lying around, so I used it. Seemed easy. Okay, now I am taking some oil dry. Larger ballast. Something to kind of fill in some of those gaps. Obviously, it's smaller than the stuff I've already put down, but it's not quite sand, which is what this is. I'm going to fill in some of those smaller gaps. Make my way around the base here. Gonna clean some of that up and then take some diluted tacky glue in a spray bottle and lock everything in place. After that dries, I've got a tower that is ready to be sealed. And there's Carl, he's happy. As happy as Carl can be, I mean, he's, you know, Chaos Marine, so. But yeah. Anyways, I'm sealing the tower with some acrylic paint. This is um, a light gray. I think for the final paint job, I'm going to end up going with a much lighter gray for the, the actual base coat. Maybe something even almost white and dry brush over that with something much darker. I'm just sealing this for the silicon coat that I'm going to put over this later. The mold I'm going to make. 
I'm using these colors as opposed to something like a bright orange or blue or green just because it's closer to what the finished product will be this is not the finished paint job it is for this for this particular mold but that's it I, I plan on painting the actual pieces a little better than this this was just a, a quick sealing coat that I was lucky enough to be able to color match fairly well to a finished piece. Just pulling out some of these wood details here. windows and hatches and such. Obviously this is a fairly rudimentary paint job. Just something to give you a basic idea of, of what your final piece can look like. In the next video, I will be making a mold and casting this. And after that, I plan on doing a much better job painting and flocking. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.